right, man, let's talk about Lee by on Zororki. Right? And it, it, it looked like, bro, like I know it's only four games. He got, I think he registered one combo tackle or something like that. But it's, it's looking like this experiment, experiment is dead. Um, you know, you hope that he warm up. He ain't got injured or nothing, but you ain't heard his name all season. But they got him down playing four games. He made one tackle, and I just think, you know, he talked about the back injury and why he didn't get the surgery. And for most people, the surgery is career ending now. It's only been a month, and, you know, I think we can make a better assessment at the end of the season. I think you can make even make a, a solid assessment after eight games, after you get to the halfway point. But I, I think he had lost cause. You know, and I kind of started to, you know, understand why he was a lost cause. You know, when I heard when I heard his synopsis on the back injury, when he talked about how the injury for most people his career ended and why he wanted to rehab and didn't get there. But my thing is, if you knew he had this type of injury before the draft, I mean, why would you even spend a second round pick on him? Y'all so quick. Somebody said, well, you know, Todd Jones, you know, in the third grade, stole a pack of Bubblicious from the family dollar. Y'all quick to drop him off the off the draft board. Quick. But when it when it come to uh when it comes to these injuries, y'all just be like, fuck it. <laughs> you know, y'all be like, man, no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all be like, man, oh, he might have a debilitating back injury. Oh, we still gonna draft him. That just didn't, that don't make no sense in my mind. Whatsoever. It don't make no sense. He he should be off that he should have been off that draft board. And maybe they didn't know the back injury was that serious. But I figured this. If you got a back injury like that and you ain't played football in the whole year, bro, yeah. You, 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 you late round pick or you off my draft board. But right now it just seemed like it's a wrap. It's a wrap. He ain't making no noise. He ain't playing well. He ain't, and maybe he one of them guys that you can you can bank on towards the end of the season to come in there and give you a boost but right now you know a lot of people were saying in the comment section i can't remember the particular video i did this year but they were saying that hey you might as well cut bait with them and they might be smart to cut bait with them you're taking up a roster spot that somebody else can be utilizing and on top of that i mean we talked about his first brad holmes first two second round picks right now neither one of them is playing and they both on the defensive line. They both were supposed to be the pass rush that they got up the middle of the field. And now you kicking Aiden Hutchinson in the middle uh, in the middle of the defense. And he playing the edge. You asking him to do all this stuff. And he like, bro, I don't even want to play on the inside. I got to play on the inside because Brad Holmes can't fucking draft in the second round. Excuse my language. You know, he, he drafted the kid uh, 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 Pascal and Anna in his first two draft. Anna Zorky first, then Pascal in the second round. Neither one of them is healthy. Neither one of them is healthy. Neither one of them is healthy. And right now, this dude got one combined tackle in four games. So the next quarter of the way, he ain't making no noise. I think I'm going to go ahead and write that ass off. What the hell would he just do? Man, the way these people be driving, bro. They drive worse. They drive worse in the suburbs than they do in the city, bro. No kids. No cap. <laughs> he did all that to go to go get some breakfast, dog. I, <laughs> some people, some people just deserve. They just deserve. Some people I ain't gonna even say. It. Well, I said, I say, y'all gonna say, damn, you cold. Some, some people just deserve what they, they should get, bro. <laughs> but nonetheless, bro, uh, yeah, he looking like a lost cause. And I'm gonna talk about Marvin Jones Jr. in another video. I don't know when y'all gonna see it. To you might see it when y'all see this or after this, before this, or in another video. There's some dudes that, you know, they ain't did a damn thing that they probably need to go ahead and move on from. In the next four games, you know, that's going to tell us a lot about Honor Zorky. At least if he don't start to heat up, you know, he's starting to heat up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't played the NBA jams on my Super Nintendo or Sega in a minute. I might have to turn the switch, hit that switch. I mean, I need some time, but yeah. Come on. 
Oh, slams it in. He's on fire. But yeah, man, he ain't contribute got got a damn damn thing. And Pascal Pascal made a play in the Kansas City Chiefs game, and then we ain't seen from him since. Come on. Brad Holmes on he need to let somebody else make a pick in the second round when they come to defensive line. For sure. For sure. So imagine if one or both of them was actually healthy and doing their thing, how better this defense would be. And that's the number one, and that's the number one thing that they really gonna have to look for coming out this draft next year. Is a Quentin Williams type of uh they gonna have to look for an Aaron Donald type of guy, Warren Sapp, John Randall, somebody that can penetrate and get upfield and get pressure on the quarterback. Because it's clear, the younger you are in the NFL and you can't stay healthy when you're young, you ain't going to be able to depend on Pascal or Anazor. You're not going to be able to depend on them. You're not. You're not. That's just that's just the God's honest truth. You're not going to be able to depend on them. You know? You know, they're getting the boost back. I think Julian O'Core close to coming back if he ain't already officially been activated. That'll get them some more athleticism on the edge. I don't know where all this traffic come from this morning. But, yeah, he get them, he get them a boost on the edge. So, but they need Pascal to get healthy. They need Anazorki to get healthy. But I, I just think, I, I think they both lost cause. I, I just think Pascal will be one of them dudes who just, He's just a rotational player. He like that girl that you got. Like, you know, she just, you know, she can't never be your girlfriend or be nothing more than what she is. She just in a rotation. <laughs> she just in she a rotational player. You know, you got girls where you say, well, you know what? I would consider like being in a long-term relationship, possibly marrying her. You got girls that's rotational. And then, you know, you got girls that's recreational. And all your girls can't be, uh, you know, wife material. You fall in love with every girl you meet, nigga. Like, you know, I already know some girl. I know. I said, oh, I never married her. She cool. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh no, I couldn't have no baby with her. Uh -uh. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> can be like that. But you gotta be honest. Women will finesse your ass, boy. They will be what you want. They will act like they won't let. They will portray or act how you want them to act and then you make a commitment or you may marry her and then they flip that switch that's when they got your ass then then you see the true colors when you move over with somebody it's true colors true colors wild game but honest orky i give him about i give him the rest of the season but the a game mark if he ain't moving and shaking something cut that ass at the end of the season if he ain't heating up but hey check out detroit lions talk playlist thumbs up the video share the video subscribe to the channel the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance of notifications. We go live and drop video. Check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist for more videos like this. Hit the link tree. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, your Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts. Peace.